fingers in the back of your neck are standing up. It was a great atmosphere here. And off we go. Straight into the hands of Matthew Wilson. Callum Smyton puts his boot to the ball. It's a chase back. And the ball just about dribbles into touch. David Maxwell, early signs from Clocker Valley. They're going for the jugular early on. This will certainly test the mettle of the Enniskillen men. Their debut in this competition. Up it goes, gathered at the front. Clocker still managed to get hold of it, even though it was a wee bit messier than they anticipated. Matthew Bothwell at the back, just guides his forwards. And it's a pick and a steal from Enniskillen. Listen to the cheer from the, the Enniskillen support here as they get their first real touch of the ball. And it's a clear, it's charged down! And it's gathered by Clocker Valley! But it's just offside, I think. We're going back for the uh, double knock-on that happened there. Goodness me, feel the tension. Matthew D in their scrum half. This will be really interesting. I think this will get a real flavour of, of the sort of battle up front that's going to happen. So here we go, Dean puts the ball in. Crocker already have the squeeze on. And the skill they're going to have to use that quickly, but not quickly enough. In those sort of conditions, it's all about who can get the first wee nudge on. And this time it's in the skill, we give a little bit of a nudge. It forces the hip pick at the back. Clocker still driving forward. Huge run by Captain Paul Armstrong, but met by a very solid and a skill and wall. And a skill and scampering across in defense nicely. Misses one. And it's crossing from Clocker Valley and Enna Skillen have managed to absorb the early Clocker Valley pressure with an Enniskill and put in Clocker Valley, got the nudge on and forced a penalty. The second scrum and this kick hasn't gone out. Huge run and Enniskill and back under pressure again. Clocker, nice take in the middle, quick ball. Expect to see plenty of picking going round the fringes from Clocker Valley as they seek to suck in this strong Enniskillen defence. Oh, look at that, well met this time by Enniskillen. Smiten getting involved heavily. Another little line by Paul Armstrong. Change of direction, the bullocking Neil Henderson this time. And Enniskillen have managed to gather that up there is the opportunity possibly to move but it's boot the ball and they'll be very glad to see that ball cross the whitewash so another opportunity Clocker Valley got the first line out nice and cleanly they're sticking to that five man short line out up they go in the midfield again nice ball off the top there Huge run, Callum Smyton getting heavily involved so far in these early, early exchanges. Oh, what a great run there. David Stinton gets to within five. A little slew coming out, but it works all the way along the back line. And a knock on. the ball and look at that push from Clocker Valley. Will Enniskillen be able to get this out? And in fact they've uh, driven up. Almost too much power coming through there from Clocker Valley. Weren't able to control it. And it gives Enniskillen the opportunity to move further out of their 22. Matthew BD for Enniskillen puts it in. Great take in the midfield and they're going for a driving wall and just Little crossing in there. Oh, sorry. Uh, 
David Maxwell with the opening points of this Energia All-Ireland Men's Junior Cup Final. So it's Clocker Valley 3, Enniskillen 0. As Enniskillen get the game underway again, and it's Enniskillen who managed to get the ball. And all of a sudden we have our first Enniskillen attack of the day. Picked around the fringes by Warrington. Huge drive. Neil Rutledge, who scored against Beckham Rangers earlier in this competition. Matthew Dean puts it out to Keyes. Oh, a little miss communication there from Keyes. And Crocker Valley smells something on. Brilliant tackle by Anna Skillen. Here the Kingsman in this perfect evening for rugby. And a skill the ball comes quickly out the back. Well gathered by Keyes. Puts it on the hill. Crashing through the midfield. Nice rock ball, Jack Rutledge now. Good running there from Hill and Rutledge. Getting the Anaskill and men on their way. Kilgore Valley men back in the heart of the action. This time straight up at the front. Maxwell. Lovely wraparound ball from Smiten. Gives it all the way out to the far left hand side. Tian Hare out on that wing. Lovely hands. Stinson again. Oh, little chip kick. Didn't put you in here. Oh, you thought that was almost a kick to nothing there. You in here. He, he, he tried the right thing. There was nothing on. A little kick to the middle. Second Tucker Valley scrum of the afternoon, and it was Emma Skillen who got the nudge on them the last time. They'll be keen to not let that happen again. And here goes the here goes the power now. And again, it's going to be a penalty. No. You wouldn't put your mortgage on them just opting for another scrum, would you? So here we go again. Second scrum. And a skill in this time get a slight wheel on and it forces the pick at the back. Smiting great footwork. Bothwell gives it out. Pushing on the line. Lovely play all the way out to the winger. Brilliant defence from Enniskillen, held up just short. For all the world they were in there. But the Maroons aren't going to let that whitewash be crossed quite so easily. Brilliant defence, although we have an offside penalty coming. That's Cocker Valley, and they, they have made it in. A little bit of a snipe. through this first half. Crocker Valley 10 and a skill and nil. Up the ball goes again. Great catch by Eugene McKenna. Big second row for Crocker Valley. Matthew Bothwell with a huge box kick. Bounces right off the head of Mark O'Shea. It's gathered and it's that man again, Callum Smiten, who gathers it for Clocker Valley. Just the little details so far that separate the sides. First of the afternoon. And uh, straight to the back, perfect throw by Kyle Cabean, assuming that was meant to be the call, because nobody jumped, but it's clean ball. Crocker Valley won't argue with it. Some big tackles going in there from the, the Enniskillen men. Little dink across the middle. Bubbles horribly well picked up by Michael Rooney. Enniskillen.
these scrums have been such a huge factor in Clocker Valley's first part of this half as they start to move again, as they start to move, but no, they move in the wrong direction. They've gone sideways. set up as it turns, it twists round and round. Bothwell under pressure manages to get it away. Captain Paul Armstrong goes for a run before getting wrapped up by Ennis Gillen. Matthew Wilson. Bothwell to Primrose. Maxwell sends it out Swinton again. Look at the footwork from the big number eight. Lovely pick it, go round the fringes. Run into a very solid tackle there. Balls bobbling, bouncing. Maxwell has it. Here we go again, it's almost going to be a replica for Clocker Valley. If the first try this time it's held up. The big goal line drop out. Surely not a drop goal. And a skill and get their lines cleared. Will it go out of play? And it's a fantastic kick. Oh, and it's the first line out that's going astray for Clocker. Ennis Gillen have it, and what an opportunity for Ennis Gillen. They've got the territory now, they've got the possession. They'll want to go through a few phases, try and get comfortable. Good running from Carlton, the big captain at six. Look at these pick and goes, ferocious round the fringes. It's not just Cocker Valley who have power. Oh, a little bit of a dink. Gets lucky there, Eddie Keys. The ball bounces back into the hands and it's almost over the top. Riding the look a little bit in a skill in here. And it's going to be offside right in front of the posts. Just the third time two Ulster sides have met in an All-Ireland Junior Cup final. Great catch there by Mark O'Shea. Forwards got there super quick, but the Clucker Valley forwards are not given any easy ball. Neil Rutledge this time. Dean having to go digging. This time Hill, the centre, takes it in. They're keen to play. Mark O'Shea back again, but this time knocked on. Clocker Valley. I think they spot some space. Lovely ball there by Mitchum out wide. Oh, the big hooker could be in. Trying to get into the action. And it's just a, a knock on and then picked up from an offside position. That was a big, big old right foot from Keyes. From the centre of the pitch there, I wasn't sure whether he'd be quite as brave, but he took it on. And he's got Enniskillen back into Crocker Valley territory. Matthew Beattie puts the ball in through a couple of sets of hands. It went backwards though, so it's still free ball. Paul McConkey there sneaked on at scrum half when I wasn't looking. There he is, McConkey has to do a little bit of hard work. Big hit by the Clocker Valley defence, and here we go round the fringes. McConkey goes open, keys. Different tactic from Enniskillen. 
Oh, and it worked well. Boy, did it work well. Now there's space out right if they can shift it. Oh, they're going through the middle instead. What a break across the halfway line. Beautiful hands. Five meters away from this Clogger Valley line. Brilliant play from Enniskillen. It's slow in the deck. There's a penalty advantage. Now free ball. McConkey picks it up to Keys. Goes himself. Still five meters short. And a skill's best opportunity of the game. Foster. Big number three, Graham there. Taking it in. Oh, it's just knocked on in the heels. But we're going to go back for the penalty advantage. Eddie Keys again. What a fantastic final. I hope you're all enjoying it. Clocker Valley get the game underway. Ball bubbles and bounces and comes away in Clocker hands. And that's going to be, could well be a penalty. It is a penalty. Clocker Valley, not even a thought of posts. Straight, straight to the corner. They're going to trust their line out. They're going to trust the power of their forwards. And not straight. And there he is, the man himself. Brilliant catch. Clocker just making life difficult. But in a skill and moving forward. Can they get the ball? And in fact, they're going to get the penalty. Even better. An unquantifiable factor, the swing of momentum. And that break from Enniskillen that, that they put in there, you just feel that there's a sense among the crowd that Enniskillen are now on the front foot a little bit. Full line out. James Carlton. This time cut out at the front by Crocker, smiting again, powering through. Bothwell, lovely hands from Trainor. Bothwell thought about the little kick, there was just a couple of Enniskillen men this way. One of whom that big fella, Neil Rutledge. And in fact, he's forced to knock on, and the momentum continues. He's certainly been on the money today. McConkey gets a quick ball in. Good pick up at the tail by Rooney, but very quickly sacked. Hill, the number is number 12 going in. Keys is just going to go right. Let's play Terrica. Up it goes. Whoa, the smashing hit. Oh, that was absolutely monumental. He timed that to perfection. James Ferguson, he'll want that, uh, he want that on video tape for future. And he gets a second hit in. Now, it probably just came off his arm there, so it may well be a Clocker Valley put in, but wow, eh? But he's now off. Hopefully, it'll only be short term. Away go Clocker Valley again. They still haven't had the last say, maybe, in this first half. Lovely little wraparound. Backwards, so away we go again. Rooney. Keys. Oh, it, was it knocked on? I think Clocker Valley have turned that over legally there. Yep, they've got it. Look at the numbers if they can shift it, but very well read in defence by Neil Rutledge, the number four, getting up and closing that gap. Smiting. Good tackle there by McConkey wrapping him round the ankles. Oh, a little bit of a half break. Away goes Maxwell. Chip and chase. Oh, this could be incredible. He gathers. It's a chip again. Well, who went though? Who ended up getting the final touch on that? It doesn't really matter. As Sam Holt, the referee, blew for half time. You really felt the momentum was with the skins. Go in and see what happens as Eddie Keys 
gets the second half underway. It's been hugely entertaining. The atmosphere here is second to none. It genuinely feels like a cup final. Bothwell there, got himself a little bit caught. Clocker Valley now on the defensive. Big kick by Maxwell. Up and down a skill in hands. Moving into centre pitch, Sam Balfour. Oh, he found a little half gap on the outside. Tin hair though, didn't let him go at all. And in fact, he's come away holding on in that back line. What a kick from David Maxwell. His boot has been so important today. A penalty, a line out, a clocker valley. Drive. Kyle Gabin in the hooker position. Clocker still moving forward. Aaron Dunwoody in the 20 shirt just. Has he got over? And he has got over! What a start in the second half for Clocker Valley! Not to be this time for David Maxwell, but throughout that first 40 minutes, the danger that they can be both round the fringes with the picks and goes and cutting the line through the backs. Eddie Keyes sticks it up into the air. Brilliant take by Callum Smite in there for Clocker Valley. Bothwell sticks it up into the air. Who's going to come away with that? It bubbled and bounced. Enniskillen had it, but Clocker Valley making really hard work for Enniskillen with that. Carlton picks it up. Keys sticks that boot deep, deep down. If they can punch a few holes around the fringes again and then give the the ball to their danger men. They'll be doing well. It's a great line out. Captain James Carlton calling the ball to himself. Round the fringes they go. Outstanding stuff. Nice take in the midfield. Oh, what a great, fantastic running there. Captain Paul Armstrong at outside centre. Quick change of direction. Oh, and over the top. So it's another big moment in this cup final. Prime scrum for Clocker Valley. They want to get the drive on, but at the same time, the backs have won the ball as well. Here they go forward. Sam Holt, yep, really had nothing too much else he could do there, but a penalty. In goes the ball. Here comes the Clocker Valley squeeze. I can't imagine Callum Smiten is going to give this to Matthew Bothwell. They're just going to keep walking. It's all about the legality of the scrum, and surely in the skill have rotated that, and it's another penalty. Now, what does Sam Holt do? Is he going to go to the pocket? Yeah, I think that was... Uh, yeah. Gary Thornton comes on to even up the front rows. And Henry Keyes, Eddie's twin, has to go off. But look, even with that, Clocker Valley marks forward. The try line is at their beck and call. Callum Smiten, beautiful football skills. Will he take it all away? The King's Band Roar gives you your answer. Yeah. On Ellis Skill 
Ireland's home turf when the scoreline ended up Enniskillen 6, Clocker Valley 28. We're closing in on quite a similar scoreline. But still about half an hour of this match left to go. Maxwell safe and sure with the boot. Listen to the noise here, the Kings fan. It's outstanding. What a great line out, but also great reactions from the Enniskillen pack. Up they go, Carlton batters through the midfield. Keys, what a line to the returning James Ferguson, who made that huge hit in the first half. Dare Hill, the other centre. Gavin Warrington, after 20 seasons, showing new lack of energy and now here we go George Foster huge time for Enniskill and they have to get something on the scoreboard Jack Rutledge the best spell of the half Eddie Keyes takes it into contact McConkey takes it out our Clocker Valley well cleaned out there by Neil Rutledge right on hand New scrum half there. It's all slowed down a little bit. Matthew Beattie, the hooker. McConkey. Lovely hands there from Rutledge again. Hill. Let's see where this one ends up. I tell you, for a cup final, both these kickers are, they're nerveless, absolutely nerveless. Great take in the middle by Carlton. Of course he's going to call it to himself. Good catch and grab by the big number seven. This time it's Rooney. Uh, now we're going through the forwards. Another pick by Rutledge. He's been very busy in the second half. McConkey. A double hit. Now this is where Enniskill's strength was as well in the first half. These pick and goes round the fringes. McConkey, the replacement scrum half, has been excellent so far. He's controlled things well. Lovely ball to Keys through the back line. Ferguson. Wow, wrapped up by some big Clocker Valley tackles. And a skill and still in possession. Going through the phases very nicely. Michael Rooney. Nowhere to go there from McConkey. Keys has to come in. Rutledge again, cartwheeling his way through the Clocker defence. And now we have an opportunity. Clocker Valley on the break. Try score Smyton. Oh, within a fraction of a millimetre of the offload. And Enniskillen have it. And it's just going to be a knock on from Enniskillen. Matthew Bothwell puts the ball in. Here goes this Clocker squeeze. The big feature of this afternoon is the power that Clocker Valley have been able to display. Scrum after scrum after scrum. David Maxwell this time bites off a little bit more than he can chew. Here we go again. Oh, there's acres of space for both sides. Paul Armstrong. Puts it right into the hands of Sam Balfour. Where's this going to end up? Armstrong again. Up goes the ball. Great catch. Lovely from Ferguson to Rooney. Big tackle there. Keys. Oh, lovely little sidestep. 
Niall Keenan tries it out the door, out the back door, doesn't quite come off. Keenan for Enniskillen, lovely line out and a little transfer, just a change of direction. Forces Clocker Valley to scramble a little bit. Gary Thornton, can he find a way through? What a hit. Picking goes round the fringes again from Enniskillen. McConkey. Jack Rutledge. McConkey again to Keys, round the back. Lovely little step by Balfour. Clocker Valley's defence strong at the minute as Rutledge tries again. One of the key carriers for Enniskillen. Metre short now in the Clocker Valley line as Thornton goes again. They have a penalty advantage, it's a free ball. Big hit round the fringes from Clocker Valley. Can they get over that line? They're inches away now. They're screaming for it at the right hand side if this ball will come. The referee is going to have to blow that. But what a game of rugby this has been. And it's a try. And a skill and over. That was not what we expected. But Eddie Keys. That's the extras. Skill and build again. They've got plenty of time. We've got time to get down the other side. Well, not quite worked out. Bothwell gets the ball in, and not unsurprisingly, here comes the Clocker Valley squeeze. And there goes the referee's whistle. just been faultless that Cocker Valley scrum what a feature of this evening's game but don't think that scrums have purely ruined the game there's been some phenomenal kicking some great backstory from both sides and some massive defense it's been an epic final here at the Kingsman Stadium and it's not over yet Ennis Skillen have they still any more to say in this fixture? Hill. McConkey. Oh, he's wrapped up very quickly this time, McConkey. And a skill in picking and going around the fringes and oh we've got a wee bit of a so and a skill in put the ball in and a very quick ball out that's the way to play it keys does a little bit of a look gives it all the way out to foster down that right hand side running hard good hands mcconkey gives it out to his forwards clocker valley's defense now is Working very hard as well. Lovely hands by Rutledge in the middle. Keenan in the mix. Nice little dinky hands. Oh, that's brilliant play from Enniskillen. But, well, we're going to go back for the penalty. it goes, no surprise, Carlton calls it to himself, another clever little line-out move, line-outs worked well for Enniskillen, a 
going hard around the fringes. Graham. Neil Whitledge. Directing well. Keenan this time. Nowhere to go. Thornton. There is space out wide, and it goes, and just overshot the runner. And it's going to be a clocker valley put into the scrum. Bothwell puts the ball in. And it's still in, get a slight nudge on, but then clocker valley come back. It's all over the place. But again, Sam Holt. Look at that, look how much it means to Neil Henderson cohesive team just powering forward and it's very hard to stop Luke Allen short into the front gathered up by Keenan his opposite number Rutledge with a nice set of hands clocker up quite fast in the midfield Hill was looking for the little snipe. Took it into contact instead. It went backwards, play on. The ball slowed down. That's Timoney with his first touch. McConkey. Enniskillen have gone through the phases really well on a number of occasions this evening. Keyes takes it into contact this time. Timoney. Oh, lovely pick and go. Can he get away off load? Not quite on. Very wise to keep it steady. Keyes. Oh, there was almost a great run from Ferguson on the inside, but he still have it. If him died, hold on to the ball. How much do they deserve to come away with something from this? Fees of play, picking and going around the fringes. Away, we're in the far corner of game. And a skillin who pins Clocker Valley back on their own line for a fair while now. It's not straight, and they're going to stay there for even longer. And Enniskillen have it. Now they get the drive on. Clocker Valley equal to it initially, but here go Enniskillen on a secondary shove. It's popped up a little high, but they're still moving. They're still motoring. They've got the drive. drama off the upright just seven points separate the teams in this energy all ireland junior cup final here at the kingspan stadium clocker valley 25 and a skill in 18 and a skill in possession there can't be too much left lovely hands from henry keys off it goes as the momentum builds for Enniskillen as it did at the end of the first half. And it's intercepted! Oh, the captain, Paul Armstrong, the offload to Ten Hare! How does he run it for Glover Valley in the corner? Oh, my goodness, the drama! Cup, Clocker Valley 30, Enniskillen 18, back-to-back -back champions.